Today we're going to talk about this 74 911 and I'm Chuck Moreland from Elephant Racing. I'm here with Daniel Hollenbach who did the installation of the suspension and the brakes on the car. This car got a very uh, extensive upgrade. We did the entire suspension system and we also put our 930 style brake system on the car. 930 brakes, of course, were the uh, four piston caliper style brakes that were originally equipped on the Porsche Turbo 930 cars. So we redesigned the calipers uh, with some upgrades and enhancements to make them fit onto a 911 straight away, and that's exactly what we've got here. So what you see is the front system. Uh, this is the four piston caliper. One of the problems with the stock caliper is that the fins stand too tall and they interfere with say a 15 inch Fuke uh, spoke. So the whole system will fit underneath of a 15 inch or larger wheel size. The rotors are, these are our standard type 930 floating rotors and we've provided our own adapter or hub kit to make these fit onto the 911. So the hub kit that's this section here. That establishes the proper backspacing so it will fit in the calipers. This is available in both a floating and non-floating configuration. The system has bigger piston area than a stock 911, and so you have to change out the master cylinder as well. Then now this particular car, it's a 74, which is a pre-boosted car. The non-boosted cars like this one, the master cylinder is mounted beneath the chassis and we've replaced the stock 911 master cylinder with this 22 and millimeter, which is paired very well with the pistons in the 930 style calipers. Gives a really good pedal feel, excellent modulation, and, but it's not too stiff. It's, uh, it's a firm pedal for sure, uh, but that actually helps to create a, a good modulation and control and threshold braking. On the back brakes, there was even more modifications required. And the problem is that the 930 style trailing arms, which were equipped on the turbo cars, had different caliper bolt spacing than the 911. So if you try to take a set of regular factory 930 calipers and put them on a 911, it's possible to do that, but it requires remachining of the calipers to get them to fit up to the bolt spacing of the trailing arms. And we designed our 930 style calipers with proper bolt spacing for 911, so they bolt up straight away. Again, the back spacing, the offset is set correctly, and we don't have any problems with clearance to the fins, and this whole system will fit cleanly underneath of a 15 inch Fuchs. Stock 930 rear rotors, so you retain the parking brake functionality. Uh, there's no modifications required to the parking brake assembly. The rotors, again, they're, they're regularly available from all the normal suppliers for a 930 type of a rotor. Yeah. You would want to go with these larger 930 brakes uh, in an instance where you want more thermal capacity. The rotors can uh, handle a lot more heat um, and you get a lot, much larger pad with more surface area. So you go through pads less fast and your rotor can handle the heat without warping. Um, and without overheating other components. So these rotors are a lot thicker than a 911 style rotor and that's true of the front as well. Uh, they've got, they, they weigh a bit more but they've got a lot more thermal capacity and you'll just, I mean there's no street car that's going to outrun these on the street uh, in terms of overheating them. Race cars even would be challenged really hard to overheat uh, 930 brakes. So the 930 brake kit really feels good. So no, there's no sponginess at all, but it's not excessively heavy. Now, the car is not boosted, so it's pure manual brakes, okay. yet um, with the size of master cylinder we chose, it's paired well with the, with the calipers, and it's just a really good pedal feel. So it's easy to modulate, and the car just, it just really feels like it's got a lot of stopping capability, a lot more than the stock brake setup. Um, yeah, it really feels good. The brakes, totally confidence inspiring. Uh, you feel like you can come in deep and fast into a stop, into a turn, and decelerate, and it's not gonna let you down. And it really hooks up.